when we talk about this case and what's at stake, I know everyone wants like the details, but really what's at stake for us is our lives, right? As a DACA recipient myself, my brother has DACA, over half a million people uh, benefit from the program currently. Um, it's really about, you know, our entire lives. DACA provides us with protections from deportation and a work permit. It does not give us a pathway to citizenship. Um, both of those things are crucial to leading a normal life without worrying about being deported and being able to work and provide for ourselves and our families. This has been true for me and over half a million others for 10 years, but uh, they've been at stake for a long time. Uh, this is not the first time DACA is under threat in the courts. Uh, we won at the Supreme Court uh, in 2020, uh, but uh, conservative attorneys general came back once again to challenge it. And now there is yet another case making its way up to SCOTUS. Um, DACA by its nature is already precarious. We live in two year incremental renewals. Uh, but since 2017, we have been living in this uncertainty where we don't know what the next court decision is going to do to our lives. Uh, this case in particular is about the substance of the policy. So every decision is about whether the policy itself is lawful or not. And both uh, the district court judge Hainan and the Fifth Circuit have already made clear in their opinions that DACA is unlawful. Um, and unfortunately with the Supreme Court even more conservative than last time, we cannot predict that we have a real chance of winning again. Um, so the lives of uh, over half a million people again are at stake here.